What is up? I'm Joey Luthman. I am Elise Luthman. And what do you know? This, this is, is the, the Joey, Joey and Elise and Show. Yeah. Now today, Elise, what are we doing? We're interviewing some amazing people here talking about the acting camp. You ask me what we're doing and then you can just immediately answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> talking with some amazing people, uh, talking about the acting camp and uh, what it's all about and what they what their parts are. Uh, so we're going to get on to that and it's going to be funky and awesome. Who uses funky anymore? <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Eric Lingvall, and I am the owner director of the acting camp. Yes. And hi, I am Diane Christensen, acting coach for kids and teens in Hollywood and others and other places. But this year, I'll be at the acting camp. Shelley, I'm Jerry Katzman. This is Commander Spigglesworth. We are co-teachers <laughs> of comedy at the acting camp, but be very careful because it's vicious. And dangerous and uh, very critical. And very large. Yeah, and very <laughs> large. Hi, I'm Stephen Memel, and I teach voice and performance, singing and all that sort of thing. And I'll be at the acting camp uh, soon with this grand, handsome, beautiful group. Agreed. <laughs> so, what makes the acting camp different from the other programs out there? There's a lot of aspects about the acting camp that, that make it different, that make it unique, that make it, in my opinion, the ultimate experience for young performers and parents. Um, the first thing is, that I feel is, is so crucial is if you're going to have what you call an amazing camp, you should have the best of the best there. Yeah. There they are. As, I, as my literally my chair is gravitating towards them because they're that good. Yeah. Um, but and you know and we joke around, but it's the truth. Um, you know we have you know Jerry who is considered the best comedy coach in L.A. Oh. Diane Christensen, the best kids and teens acting coach in L.A. Stephen, the most amazing vocal coach there is. I mean they have produced the 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 stars that you see. Yeah. You know I mean. Maroon 5, Joey and Elise, you know what I mean? <laughs> they are, but, it's, but the truth of the matter is that if, 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 if you are going to learn to be the best performer possible, you should learn from those that know it better than anyone else. So number one, we have the best coaches. Um, yeah. Number two, uh, it, uh, the casting directors, the agents, the managers we bring in are the best. You know, for shows like Wizards of Waverly Place, I'm in the Band, Fringe, movies like Alice in Wonderland, um, Charlie and the Chocolate Fact. I mean, the list goes on. So you have the best of the best, number one. Um, number two, uh, it's done in a place that's so unique. Uh, up at the El Capitan Canyon. I mean, this, it's, it's, it's this beautiful location. You're out in nature. You're really camping. I mean, I've, I've, yeah. I've heard of other acting camps, but they're like in a college dormitory. Or something, yeah. and that's you know, I mean, that's that's fine for those other camps, but um, <laughs> for us, I mean, we're oh, camping. Man, that's for your camp. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> and Graham that's the truth. Hicks. The truth of the matter is that I am, I'm a perfectionist with everything I do, and so I said, okay, well, if I want it to be the best camp, it should also be a camp. We're out there, we're roasting s'mores, we're sitting by the campfire, playing music, doing karaoke. There's nature. I mean, the first morning I woke up, literally. There's a deer right outside of my cabin. <laughs> and I mean, awesome. yeah, I just went, okay, we're camp, we're out here, we're in nature. Yeah. So there's that element. But the most important thing for me about this experience, about this camp that I think makes it truly unique is the personalized approach that we take. Every single camper that comes through the acting camp, I want them to feel that they're a part of a family. That yeah. they are a part of a group now. They're a part of, of an experience. And, um, and I want them to know that they're not just a number. They're a person, and and I want them to feel that they had their own individualized experience because I know in this business yeah. you're often shuffled through the line, yeah. get next here, you know. Mm -hmm. But at the acting camp, I want everyone to leave that camp feeling that you know I'm now a part of something, and and, yeah. and more than just training 
and exposure and everything else, um, it's an experience that you'll hold for the rest of your life, you yeah. know? And uh, to me, that's, that's, that's what makes the acting camp the acting camp. The acting camp. <laughs> Passion. 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 Yes. I almost, I, swear, I almost got emotional there. I'm like, family, I and I was like, am I going to cry on the Joey and Elise show? Is that, is that? <laughs> happens uh, I'm, a, I'm yeah. a crier. I'm a crier. They're like, there's no doubt in it. Very deep person. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so you are obviously very familiar with every part of the acting camp. Now, sure. what is uh, your... Um, your favorite, you like what excites you the most about the acting? Oh man, he's gonna cry again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I wouldn't cry. Comes. There it comes. <laughs> um, what excites me most about the acting camp? Uh, I, I think for me, it's having the opportunity to work with all these kids, um, at, you know, for three days. Because you know, I work with kids. Um, I do you know some on-camera coaching. I do some one-day events, and and that's nice. But to have those three days together and to see them from when they get to the camp versus when they leave the camp, yeah. I mean, that that is just, and it's amazing. And I'm not, you know, obviously I'm biased. I've run the camp and that's fine. But I, but I can say it because I, I've seen it happen. Yeah. And I've seen these kids come into the camp and some of them, you know, there might be a, a little bit of standoffishness. You know, some of them have nerves and everything else. Sometimes you go, oh, I hope they're gonna, you know, do good up there. And then come Sunday, and I'm literally watching this performance going, I, I can't even believe that's who I saw yeah. when they first came in. And that's what it's about. That's what excites me, seeing yeah. these kids grow, you know? Yeah. Um, and that's, I mean, that's why I love working with kids, you know, because they're these sponges, and they can just absorb, and then they, and they, they just do whatever they want to do, you know? And they have so much life, you know? And that's why it's, uh, that's what excites me, and, you know, and that's why I work with kids, you know? I yeah. gave up on adults a long time ago. <laughs> 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 so like, so you just work with kids? Yeah. Can you I know what I mean? That's, that's my limit. I, I want to add to what Eric is saying, if it's okay. Uh, you know, I had a student of mine, 16 year old uh, comedy student in Cameron Elmore. Oh. And he's, a, he's terrific, really, really talented guy. You can check out his stand up online, and it's amazing to see someone. But what's exciting to me about the acting camp is, so I connected him, his mother confided to me that his career had kind of just plateaued, you know? They'd gone far enough as they could, given the resources and the knowledge they had. So I called up Diana and I said, would you talk to them? Within about two weeks, about two weeks, because he had just finished my class and I put him into with Diane, his, he, he entered a, a bidding war. The agents in LA started bidding and fighting over this kid. And then about through our showcase. Through your showcase. Yeah. And about three weeks later, he had signed with Alicia Silverstone's management company and is doing great. I mean, this is oh, the best concrete concert. entertainment. Concrete. Mm -hmm. Now, this people. is someone who hadn't been getting a ton of auditions, didn't have access. But what's exciting to me about, about the acting camp is something that I'm only just beginning to see, which is Okay, you take a, a good teacher, a masterful teacher, and then you connect them to someone else who has that, you know, Diane, you know, Haley Steinfeld from, from True yeah. Grit. Yes. Oscar nominated actress. So you, so then on you her connect, first film. On her yeah. first film. So connect her to that. Boom. Connect her to all of the casting people. That, what, what we're doing here is something that, I, it's like what you said, I wish I'd had that when I was growing up. I mean, man, if you're a young actor and you want to learn some amazing comedy stuff from someone who acts on Comedy Central and then learn some acting stuff from someone who, you know, to learn the voice of Drew Barrymore, Justin Long. I mean, we're, we consider ourselves very lucky to have had the opportunity to, you know, affect these people, but putting it all together in a weekend and then letting your industry have them, I mean, we're going to have the time of our lives. Yeah. Yeah. The package is really about not just being cute and talented. It's about having discipline and understanding the discipline of the business. And it's about having, um, say you're under 18, it's about having a parent who really knows how to yeah. manage that child's career and to um, make it work for them and not work against them. It's about having a team that's strong around that child, um, including their coach, their manager, their agent, their parent. It really doesn't happen. This is not a Lone Ranger business. This is a team player business. And it's really, really about understanding. You've got to have all of that happening, have that intact to be able to succeed. And without any one of those single elements, it's really impossible. 
Yeah. There isn't a kid that can do this on their own. They really, really, number one, need the right parent. Agents say to me that their number one choice, the number one consideration when signing someone under 18 is the parent. 75% mm. of that choice is the parent. So I really try to, to help the parents learn too, unless they're like yours. And they already get it. They yeah. already really get it. Well, they started. They had to start someplace. So absolutely, yeah, everyone starts. Absolutely. You know, I see. think what's great with Diane saying too is the fact that at the acting camp, the parents are a part of it. I mean, I think yeah, it's kind of a good segue there. Mm -hmm. um, it's true. You know, uh, I think uh, a young performer can really only be uh, as talented and successful as their parents will allow them to be. And uh, mm -hmm. I think for me, that was that was such a motivating mm -hmm. factor to starting the camp was that. You know, I see these successful, potentially successful kids, mm -hmm. and then parents that were not ideal parents, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. and, um, and if they'd just been given the tools. There's two specific types of parents that really stand out to me. Mm -hmm. um, we have the parents that I love to talk to, mm -hmm. and then those that I don't. Yeah. <laughs> and she said, so for you parents here, strive to be that parent. That, that just, you know, is easy and, and, and gets it and understands it. And I think what helps parents achieve that is learning the business, understanding the facts about it, and having the knowledge. Because if they do, you know, they're going to be that much better off. Yeah. And that's one of your specialities, right? Yeah. Eric is training the parents. Training Absolutely. The parents. Yeah. Can I chime in on this too? Because I have yes. an actual Absolutely. story yeah. about how yes. that is true. And I'm going to try to do this without mentioning any names, but <laughs> somebody I know who was part of the selection process for the Mickey Mouse, uh, uh, the Mickey Mouse Club right. when it came back, and Justin Timberlake, and uh, who was it else? Britney uh, Spears. Britney Spears, Christina Ryan Aguilera. Gosling. Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling. There was one other person who Christine. has become very famous who did not get in, who ought to have gotten in, and I saw the comment sheet, and the comment sheet said, very talented, but dot, dot, dot. And the person who wrote that was showing me this, and they said, do you know what the dot, dot, dot was? And I said, no, what is it? Her father. Yeah, yeah that's, that's something that I always stress, I, I, likability. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, we all, <laughs> yeah. you don't want to work with someone you don't like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, regardless of how talented they are. So I always emphasize that, yeah, to the kids and the parents, be likable. Be that person that people like to work with. So yeah. even, even if you're not perfect for the part, they go, you know, she's not perfect, but gosh, I love hanging out yeah. with her. Mm -hmm. You know, she's yeah. just got this likability to her. And then, you know, and, and I found that because when I was initially, I was an actor when I first started, but not very good at acting, <laughs> willing to admit it, which is great. I yeah. wish there were other actors. <laughs> right? you know, maybe if I had come yeah. to, yeah, see if I had had this team around me when I first started, right? Yeah. But, um, but I still booked, and uh, I, I know the reason I booked was because I was just likable, you know? And I just, when I went in, I was very respectful, and I had a good time, and it was enjoyable. So even if I wasn't yeah. professional, professional mm -hmm. likable, and so, yeah, I mean, that's just, it's so important. Yes, yeah. yeah. definitely. Now back to Diane. Yes, um, can you tell us uh, what it was like to be named the uh, backstage's number one kids and teens acting coach? Well, you know what? It's very exciting, and um, it's it certainly has had a ripple effect. Yeah. You know, it, it, it definitely put a, a ripple in the wave. Um, however, I have been honored with uh, the Children in Film Best Acting Coach for uh, the last three years, yeah. and the Actors Access Best Coach for about ten years, top ten. So I've had these awards, and, and you know, there used to be a time when I actually thought it was about me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I have come to realize that that really isn't my focus at all. If I can help one person a, a month find success, that's really the reward for me. That's really the reward. But um, not to disregard any honor that I've been given. I certainly appreciate it. And I know that, you know, I've worked hard for it, and I yeah. love the work. My focus really is not um, what award can I win, it's what award can I get my students to win. Right. Yeah. And that is so yeah. rewarding. Yeah. So, um, hallelujah, Backstage West, and I hope I get one every year. <laughs> Doesn't <laughs> hurt. As long as I live. <laughs> I'll vote for you. Okay. Yeah. I'll vote for you. I bet you do. <laughs> We're partners. Um, I pay them. But, um, no, it is, it's, 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 it made me very happy.
Um, now, in your words, uh, how important do you think vocal training is for uh, aspiring singers? I think it's incredibly important. And it's because, granted, there are people who, you know, come out of the box who just have these amazing uh, voices. And that's really like the tennis player that picks up a racket and can just do it. Yeah. It's a coordinative thing. And they can get these great sounds and they can really perform. But that doesn't mean that they're working technically efficiently. Yeah. And I just read an article recently which talked about uh, Adele, John Mayer, about three or four other top singers who are having some, who have had to take serious vocal rest or get surgery um, because they, of their heavy touring schedules. And many of these people are naturals. And that's the problem. So on a number of levels, it's important because when you have ownership of your art and you know how you're doing what you're doing, mm -hmm. then think about it even, even beyond being able to do it better and have more freedom and more joy, you are not as stressed and strained and worried about the mysterious thing that you've got that might go away. And if it does, you don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. So it just has a massive impact. It, yeah. it really affects your yeah. confidence and, and ultimately the, your output. Your yeah, art the quality itself. of your singing. Yeah, 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 it really does. It's like what you said, I wish I'd had that when I was growing up. I mean, man, if you're a young actor and you want to learn some amazing comedy stuff from someone who acts on Comedy Central and then learn some acting stuff from someone who, you know, learn the voice of the, Drew Barrymore, Justin Long. I mean, we're, we consider ourselves very lucky to have had the opportunity to, you know, affect these people, but putting it all together in a weekend and then letting your industry have them, I mean, we're going to have the time of our lives. Yeah, yeah. And, that's, and that's true. It's like you said, too. I mean, we are going to have the time of our lives because we... I mean, and that's yeah. what I love about all you because it's, it's, that's what it's about. It's about At the end of the fun. day, mm -hmm. having fun. Like yeah. what, what the, the t-shirt says for the acting camp, mm -hmm. um, come see what all the fun is about. Yeah. And, yeah. and for me, I can truly say that, and I'm sure like you guys as well, through your careers, while it's difficult at times and it's rough, you, you've had fun though. Absolutely. You've enjoyed, yeah. enjoy the and, process. Yeah, and Absolutely. that's what, you know, uh, that's what my dad says is that if you don't, if, if you're not having fun with the with your job, then it's you know it, it's just not worth even doing. Yeah. You gotta have you gotta have and fun. I always say yeah. to people in this business, when it's good, it's really really yeah. good. Yeah, you know, like and that's it. what makes you each time there is a rejection, reach down, pull up those bootstraps, and keep going because when it's good, it's great. Yeah. And you know, you have it's a lot of talk it. about being in the right place at the right time. You know, everybody yeah. talks about that yeah, as true. if. That's some kind of mystical thing that the yeah. world hands you, the right, right place, right. the right time. Yeah. Rather than, you can be directive yeah. about getting to the right place yeah. at the you right time. You can make time. the right place. You can make yeah. the right yeah. place. Yeah, and then if yeah. you add in, let me go somewhere where it's fun, yeah. you know, yeah. then your best self is going to come out because yeah. you're going to be in that place where everybody it's is just, drawn to yeah. your fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know how writer or Placer. Writer, placer. Yeah. I like that word. I mean, this is a timer. Timer, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's so, like, as, as Steven's talking over here, I mean, he's making I'm, up words. We like them. I like yeah, yeah, making up words. But literally, I'm sitting here listening to all this. And let me also express that I'm also so grateful. I always say it's so important to be grateful for what you have yeah. and having gratitude. And I want to just, you know, use this forum here, the Joey and Elise show. Number one, very grateful that you guys had us on the show. Yeah. And number two, so very grateful to have this team around me, and um, whom, by the way, we all just connected for the first time today, myself with them. Yeah. So we've all we've all been in touch, but this is the first time we've been able to sit. And I don't think, I mean, my hair's been on it. I mean, I've just had the chills the whole time because it's yeah. so, um, it's just it's just such an amazing thing. And and like Stephen was saying, that the connection. Yeah. In this industry, you know, and, and people often say, well, mm -hmm. it's all about who you know, but it's also really about who knows you, yeah. mm -hmm. more importantly. And at this camp, that's what's so great. It's yeah. like immediately uh, you are just immersed, we talked about that word earlier, immersed in the business with these coaches and casting directors and agents and managers. And I know these parents are getting all this information too, because remember, they're, they're listening to these agents speak. And these are agents that represent the top kids managers that, that work with the top kids. We bring in parents of working actors. 
So they can say to them, hey, what's it like, you know, being a parent? Yeah. And so they get all this, and by the time they leave the camp, I mean, you see these parents that are just like, whoa. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? And it's just a, even, I think that the people that have committed to Eric says a lot about what Eric has created mm -hmm. yeah. and, and the quality of, of the camp. Yeah. It's definitely uh, what attracts the name, casting directors, agents, managers, coaches to the camp. And it's what you've created um, as a package for three days for the, for the performers, for the actors, for the campers. So it's really, it's really, you know, your life that we're drawn to. We love you. <laughs> I love you guys too. Yeah. <laughs> and you're creative. Told you I was going to cry. Hey, just, just like, <laughs> what is the record for how many times someone's cried on your show? Just out of curiosity. Uh, <laughs> my motivation for the camp was um, to create an experience for kids and for parents that would not only help guide them to a successful career path in acting or in performing, but in life, you know, because uh, for me, it, it is it is so much more than than, than just the acting or, or just the singing or whatever. It's about giving these kids the tools, giving them the fundamentals to to be successful at whatever they do, whether it's acting, whether it's whether it's singing, whether it's directing or whatever. And now, so let's say that I'm um, I'm a kid who would like to sign up for the acting camp. How um, might I find more information about it? Uh, you just go to theactingcamp.com. So. The website's awesome. Um, in fact, that's a, it, it's one of my well, it's one of my favorite things about the camp too <laughs> is how awesome our website is. Though yeah. we have uh, awesome videos up there. Uh, I always tell parents, you know, if I can tell you all about the camp, but if you just spend five minutes going through the Acting Camp website, yeah. you're really going to be able to get a feel for what we're all about and uh, why it's such an amazing experience. Sounds good. Well, you come to theactingcamp.com. Happy trails! Happy trails! See you there! Ciao! <laughs> Ciao!